I thought I, I know you know my background, how I got into this business, but a little kind of personal and fun facts maybe about me um, is I do love to travel. Um, I have three siblings and um, two of those siblings and spouses and my spouse, we went to Israel right before the shutdown. So we got to do that together, that spiritual journey, which was totally beautiful experience. Um, done a cruise to Alaska and one of my bucket lists obviously is Greece and New Zealand but we chose not to do any of those this year but we are going to um, Memphis and Tennessee I am a big Elvis fan and have always wanted to go to Graceland so we are doing that I just you know got all those things settled and booked and and then we're going to Tennessee and Nashville and because I'm a country and as well so um, I do have five kids seven grandkids um, and they're spread out so we're always traveling that way to keep up with everybody but uh, family basically is all entrepreneurs um, the only one is my stepson who has his dream job as a history um, high school history teacher and basketball coach mm -hmm. all the other ones are all entrepreneurs so um, along with my sibling so anyways that's some kind of background on that um, and with that being said I thought I would take you through the showroom so you can bring your banana, your fruit, whatever you want, <laughs> and we'll have, and we'll have a little field trip inside the show. Okay. I like it. Fun. Home field advantage. <laughs> <laughs> So, we're going to start up front because that's where mostly people that come in want to see the products that are up front. So, shut that door. Okay, so when people come in, most of the time, they're wanting vinyl plank flooring. Okay, that is the hot ticket. Um, the industry has really pushed it. Um, so that's what everybody thinks that they want <laughs> until they come in and we explain pros and cons and there's pros and cons on every product. Um, but on my vinyl planks here, we've picked only the best of the best. That's what you'll see in here. So it'll all be anywhere from mid to high um, range. And we've um, partnered up with manufacturers also that don't, they typically sell to distributors only. So now we buy directly from these manufacturers that are making these different products here to set us apart from everybody else. Um, some better pricing, obviously, um, the manufacturers that we partner with are amazing. A lot of these products are made in the U.S. Some, some still overseas, but you know they're trying more and more to get ma things made here. That's what people want to see. So we really push. This line on this luxury vinyl plank is all our value line. So this will work for tenant improvement work, along with somebody that maybe is flipping a home or um, or just has bought a home and they have a very low budget so this will meet you know their needs here this particular product right here is going to be bit um, it's going to be mid to high end along with the product behind you over here um, performance driven right here on both of these however this will give you more of that more of that rustic look versus my doma line over here is going to be that fashion forward look okay both same type of quality um, they are going to be mid to high end uh, mostly on the higher end side um, so you know just great looking products um, I do have some woods over here that are going to be more of those fashion forward engineered woods, but I'm going to take you over this way, right back here. 
So over here on this end is some laminate products. Laminate, very durable, topically water resistant now where it didn't used to be. That's why people have strayed away from laminate because it's, you know, hasn't ever been water resistant. However, the durability of a laminate product, typically if you get a good manufacturer, if you get an imported Chinese product, you're going to have problems with scratching and, and um, dings and dents. On these laminates here, and I have some throughout the store, you are not gonna have that issue with the scratching. Um, again, water resistant. Um, the high density fiber core board here makes it really dent proof, really strong and structural. So I've had a laminate in my home for 20 years. It's been rollerbladed on, it's <laughs> you name it, big dogs. We do have a pool, so back then it wasn't water resistant. So I had to lay towels down and treat it just <laughs> like a, you know, real wood floor. All right, today, nothing. I mean, that is the beauty, so you get everything, the performance and um, everything you would want in a floor. And it comes as thick as that when yes. it comes out? Yeah, they're, oh. they're typically anywhere, the laminate floors are anywhere from 3 8 to half inch thickness. Wow. So the nice thing about a laminate floor, it will butt up if you've got tile in a kitchen. Mm -hmm. yeah. Typically, it's going to come flush where your vinyl plank floors very very thin yeah. and okay. they lift up and float too correct everything is a is a um, floating floor yeah. it's a click and lock system yeah. um, the vinyl plank flooring since it's very thin floor prep is everything on those okay I have people that come in and say I have tile floor now I don't want to rip it up I want to go over it there are stores out there that will do it. We will not. Because it is so thin and those joints are thin as well. If there's any peaking, any compromise on there, they're breaking and they're lifting. And believe it or not, on tile, moisture can come through that grout, okay? So you have any moisture coming in under those vinyl floors, they're all, they're, it's going to make them lift as well. The heat is not good for the vinyl floors. If you have direct sunlight coming in, not good for um, vinyl floors. A job that Pierre and Jessica worked on that I referred to Pierre, they had um, an atrium. So they wanted to originally go with vinyl. They came in on one of my products. And I said, absolutely not. We either have to do a tile or you could do a laminate. Um, you'll be fine. So we ended up doing the laminate floor in there for them. So but this doesn't um, have that problem. No, it, this is a little bit more forgiving because it is thicker. However, I would, number one, it, it's too thick to lay over a tile because mm. now you're really raising the right. height, right? Yeah. I, I just, we pull up everything. I do not lay over existing floor we take it down to the concrete or the subfloor whatever it is and then we fully floor prep so we level everything out which is like the, it would look like concrete wet concrete which dries in a couple of hours and we grind we fill cracks we do whatever we have to do to make that floor level so we are not going to be the cheapest people out there um, it's people you get what you pay for um, there's a lot of people that will just patch. You know, I, I, I've seen that. I, I have sold materials only. And a guy sent me pictures. And he said, oh, my floor's not laying right. <laughs> and they just <laughs> tested it out in a hallway. And I'm looking at the picture and I go, hmm. I can tell the, the installer just patched in a few areas here and there. I could see it. And I said, this is what floor prepping looks like. And I sent him pictures because my guys send me pictures of everything when they're out on a job from start, middle to finish, okay? And um, so I sent them those and I said, this is the way your floor prepping should look, so. Can this take a scuff, you think? Oh, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Uh, quick, 
fun topic. Um, I just helped my sister-in-law, we helped over the weekend. She came down here from Northern California to move back and we helped her. She's gonna be in an apartment for a year until she finds a home. So I'm looking, she's on the third floor. They did glue down vinyl plank, which is great. However, when they were moving stuff in, and I, I saw them start to drag stuff. And they said, oh, stop, stop. And there was already a scuff on the floor on that vinyl plank, because it's cheap vinyl of plank course. that they put into those products, okay? Um, and so I said, Jess, you've got to lift and move. Do not drag. On this stuff, I'm gonna tell you, we were not easy on our floors, I, you know, and um, I do not have one ding or scratch in my floor, and it's been down for 20 years. So Sharon, I, I walk a lot of floors, mm -hmm. and the echo that you get from the vinyl plank that I can't stand, is that because of floor prep, or is that the product? It'll be some floor yeah. prep, it could be product, um, you know, it, it's, uh, again, m all my vinyls, they do have a pad attached, they're the stone core, um, so they shouldn't be that echoey, okay. okay? And then on our laminates, the underlayment that we use is a very expensive underlayment. We use the best um, to eliminate, to avoid that, that noise. Um, you know, so, but anyways, that, that's, okay. and I have laminates all throughout. It's not just this. My next product that I want to show you over here, right here on this side, um, this is our water resistant and waterproof wood. So, um, real excited to have this line and we've done very well with it um, because wood and tile bring value to a home. Vinyl and laminate bring nothing to a home, okay? So on a resale value. So if somebody is, I, I always at least share this line because it will work for swimming pools, pets, everything on this particular line. So on this one right here, you're gonna see the same high density fiber core board like you would in a laminate, okay? Um, so this doesn't make it, I don't say anything's fully waterproof, but this only is topically water resistant. This line right here has the stone core in it, just like you would find on the vinyl planks, okay? So you could say this is fully waterproof. Um, so the way they make this wood, it's a very thin veneer of the actual wood because to be able to make it fully water resistant and waterproof topically, they saturated it, um, is saturated by the aluminum oxide all the way through, all the way around to encapsulate it. So no water once these joints are, and it is a floating floor, once they're all clicked together, nothing can penetrate through it. Okay, so you've got the durability here with the stone core and high density fiber core for dents and everything. You've um, got something that is, you know, um, will withstand the big dogs and so forth for scratching and, and stuff like that. Um, you're gonna be anywhere from the mid sevens on up to about 14, it depends. Does the installation include this black piece no, here? That's, that's just the, the mounting. So underneath the floor so, itself would be the pad. Yeah, it's got an attached pad, so that thin black. Yeah, so would the pad be that thick? No, or, it's no, just it's, this. No, it's that. Right. Got this it. is the backer board that okay. the sample is got attached it. to. Got it. So the floor is really not that thick. Yeah, it's about a half inch. These are going to be thinner because it's just the stone core and the attached pad. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Those are waterproof. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Again, I always like to say water resistant. Oh. Because guess what? If a pipe is bursting, guess what you're doing? <laughs> yeah. You're yeah. ripping up that floor. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so that being said, that's what that is. And then we've got tile. 
Um, I do have my cabinet displays. This is more laminate here. I have carpet on the other end, which Johnny can talk about carpet all day long. <laughs> But I'm going to bring you over here because I do have some products in this line and we're getting lower and lower in the industry on these products. But I do have, um, if somebody's looking for performance, I try and push them into a solution dyed nylon. Okay. Um, nylon's not are only going to give you your performance, but then when it's solution dyed, You've got, I hate to say stain proof, but it's literally, it's going to be very, very hard to stain. So especially for stairs and especially for an active family, um, it's, it's an awesome product to go into. And I have some in these lines. I have some that are over there on my Maslin end. Um, so we've got, you know, the different styling and patterns and and so forth on these um, and again got some great lines over there i do have um, the smart strand uh, this has been a good product as well um, it's another product it's not a nylon um, it's its own fiber made by um, corn oils and made from corn oil. And um, on this particular product, I, I do have it in my home. If you get the right one in this product line, it will perform. And another one that is like stain proof um, on the smart strand side. Um, they've done the rhino test, all of that kind of stuff where they've had a rhino in there for a week on this carpet and they come in and they just clean it off. I've done, um, when we've had open houses before, I've had people just mash in whatever they want on that piece of carpet. And then I've had a standby carpet cleaner and he's cleaned it right in front of their eyes and gotten mm -hmm. everything out. Mm -hmm. um, on the carpets that I have in my home on the smart strand they have worn very very well um, but again for probably 18 years I did have a solution dyed nylon upstairs and hands down it wore fantastic um, so both products I've tested in my own home and I can confidently you know sell it to my clients your smart strand is going to be mid to higher end. It's not going to be for every <coughs> buddy, uh, along with the um, solution dyed nylons. They're expensive as well. But for a family that doesn't, for someone that doesn't want to have to replace carpet for 20 years or something like that, um, this is the way to go. This is the way I push them, especially for stairs too. Mm -hmm. <coughs> um, anyways over here this whole section in this pod are basically all going to be patterned there's going to be a combination of wools wool blends um, some nylon some polyesters um, typically with these we will do maybe one room or we'll do area rugs and anything that I have in here I can have made by the manufacturer into an area rug. So, um, but many, you know, beautiful, fun patterns, um, some with sparkly stuff in them and everything. Um, still a few of these, and actually we're gonna get ready to do a, a room with a pattern that I have on the other side that's a floral pattern. So again, these a lot of times are going into one room or area rugs. That's where you'll find this whole grouping in um, of that. So, and then we kind of come over into here. This is actually, I'm gonna be doing this one. Cody actually sold this job. Um, and we're gonna be doing a room, their bedroom of that. Mm -hmm. Right there, yes. Beautiful carpet. This is a New Zealand wool product. So, uh, 
that will never wear out, never. They'll have it for the rest of their life on that particular product. Um, and then we've got um, our Maslin line, which is a beautiful line. And it's going to have, it's all going to be nylons. It will be a mixture of solution dyed nylons along with the Envision nylons and um, so forth. And then we have our Fabrica line, which is made right here. Um, they have uh, their facility just off of Susan Street in Santa Ana. As a matter of fact, my ex-husband, his um, father was the engineer on that factory, that whole thing. So um, this particular product right here has been in their line since I came into business. And that next year will be 40 years. So um, both lines right here, we can have any of their products dyed up to any custom color. Um, as you kind of see right here, they've got every kind of color. I mean, um, but it's a very nice product. They make all basically high end on this product line. And you've got patterns, two plushes, and um, just gorgeous products. Any questions so far? Okay. <laughs> I'll be quick. In here, okay, so all of this right here is all your engineered woods. We have some solids, but you're not gonna really, here in California, you're not gonna really use um, the solids unless you're on a raised foundation. Mm -hmm. um, so these are all engineered um, woods, all high-end. They are going to range anywhere from, I'm gonna have to say anywhere from 12 on up to $20 a square foot on material only. So um, this is the best of the best back here. Um, as we go around here, I also, and we have them in throughout here as well, um, on your engineered woods, they're stained topically, okay? Um, and then sealed with an aluminum oxide. However, we do have products that are your oil finish, and I've got some over here. The beauty about an oil finish wood is the way they get the color on that is they actually heat it up. That is not a stain. So your color is all the way through on these woods right here. So if you were to scratch that, you are going to see that color. Mm -hmm. The other thing, they're great down in the um, coast area um, because they, on the oil finish, you start to see anything dry at all, you just take the refresher and, and we always supply that when we're selling the woods and you take that refresher and you freshen that right up and everything, you know, looks beautiful again. You get a scratch on that wood. You can also take the oil and just rub the oil. It will take that scratch away. That is the beauty of an oil finish wood. Pricing is going to be a lot higher, but it is worth every penny on an oil finish, especially when you have high traffic in a home. Um, and again, the beauty of it, that the most unique thing is that to get that color, it is heated up to get that color. I find that so interesting when I you know, learned all about the oil finish. So that color is all the way through, unlike a stained product. So. Can you run that into a, like, not necessarily a bathroom, but like a sink and stuff, kitchen and stuff? Oh, yeah, you can put wood floor into. I, I always say wood floor is fine in a kitchen and the powder rooms and stuff. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't necessarily have it in my you know, bathroom with a shower yeah. area. You know, I you're going to want tile or vinyl or something like that. Um, that's what I would do. So, but... Um, you know, but we have the backsplashes. We have, again, all our cabinets, our prefab cabinets. They're custom made. They are like a piece of furniture. 
Um, so um, they're done by a large manufacturer. Um, they've got one, it's all under the same sister company. So our kitchen craft over there is um, out of Canada. And that's, I'm gonna run through these really quick so I know I'm on a time schedule. This is out of Canada right here, more contemporary look. My decor line is going to be my higher line to where you can get any paint color out of the Sherman Williams um, color wheel. Um, all these cabinets, they are, uh, these are made in Indiana, um, and then I have some made in Oregon, but the stain in the paint is baked on. They are lifetime warranty. I've seen it in action where they might not even have a door style like this anymore, but if it's under the warranty, say 15 years down the line and this door style, door style is out, they will make it okay and replace it but that's the beauty of these are lifetime um and again by a large manufacturer and all the bells and whistles to them um, any gizmos and gadgets you can imagine um you know and then we have even affordable lines down in the other area down over there that we can get within about three weeks they are limited on color come from the same manufacturer but they're made here locally and um, beautiful product as well, but they are made for that first time home buyer um, and, and they're going to last. They're a good product. They're not a Chinese product that is going to fall apart within a couple of years, um, but they're great for flipping. They're um, great for apartments. They're great for first time home buyers that need to, you know, they, they can't afford something like this but they at least can still get a good product. Thank you, Pia. I could so. spend all day here. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly. Yes. Yeah. There's a lot. Nice There's a lot. So I don't know if anybody has any quick questions. Like for the kitchen, I mean, bathroom. Like, what's the top of the line and is, like, waterproof can last 20 years? Bathroom. You're probably, well, you're probably going to go tile, but it's very expensive just on the labor end to do tile. So even a, a vinyl in there, a vinyl plank is great. That's going to last you forever. You know, it, does, it just doesn't get the abuse like the rest of the house does. Yeah, so... Yeah, check it out. Thank you. Okay. Really good.